So is this happening to you? In today's video, we're gonna talk about why is that disc is coming off the middle finger and how to fix it to throw farther fast. Check it out. What's up guys, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we are talking about the discus coming off of the middle finger. Now, we get a lot of people, recently we've had that question, we posted up something, hey, the discus keeps coming off my middle finger. Now, on occasion, you get somebody that has an extra long middle finger. Notice I have to bend but most people have a slightly longer middle finger than index finger and the discus needs to come off of this because you can apply more force and spin the discus. Now there's a very simple reason. Now we posted a video a couple years back on how to carry the discus, how to add 20 feet and it was about how to fly and carry the discus and get it to spin and learn this thing that I'm gonna talk about. So if you are finding that the discus is coming off of the middle finger, the answer is typically pretty simple. What we see is that you're cupping the discus. So what we see is people have the thumb up and then what they do in order to hold that discus in the hand, they have to do this, right? Because they're carrying it like this. You see how I'm kind of carrying it like this. So as we come this way, the discus starts to come off of this finger. So you're spinning it here instead of spinning it here. And when the hand tilts here, the, the force goes to, the, to that index finger and now you can smash it off. Now, why is this important? Spinning the discus is really key because the more revolutions per second that the discus can come out of your hand, you are going to see the discus fly more, right? It has to spin. So, so when you see that discus spinning as it comes into the throw, that's gonna be really critical. What you see a lot of times is you see a discus sometimes fly like this and then you see the sticker kind of moving like this, really slow. That's a discus that's not flying far. And that could in fact be a discus maybe that's coming off that middle finger. But if you see a discus like this, it means it wasn't thrown like this. And if it's not spinning, it means it's kind of coming out of the hand, right? And so if you don't have the thumb down and pointed away, now this is where you set up the force to be applied to the middle finger, okay? So again, the other night we had a, we have practice, we have a bunch of athletes and they're, they're spinning the discus quite well, but then they were like, oh, it came off my middle finger. So they understand. So what happened? Release, bad releases are gonna happen. It's gonna happen from time to time. But for the most part, you are most likely up and cupping. And so now that affects how the discus is carried. And so when the discus turns over, there's less of a chance to be able to get this off of here. And you're gonna see more of this because the hand is like in this position, so it comes off this way. So you see this, again, so look at the thumb. It's almost like closer to like 90 degrees to my arm, and the thumb needs to be here because that creates the tension here, and that's what's gonna create fast spin on the discus. So, real simple tip for today, and remember, this is one of the things we talk about in our fundamental section inside the throwing chain reaction. We go through a lot of these basic things, because before you set up your chain reaction, believe it or not, something like the discus coming off your middle finger is an indicator of a bigger issue that's probably gonna create limitation. So if you are having that middle finger issue, be sure to understand that it's a simple fix. Get the thumb turned, turn the fingers so that the discus is sitting in the fingers. And that way, when you do something like this and you hold the discus, you're gonna have here, and you'll notice as soon as I would turn that hand around and turn it into the throw, I'm gonna be setting up pressure against the index finger and it's gonna snap off. And if you're throwing right, you're gonna see that nice little callus developing here. And that's exactly what you want because the faster you can spin that discus, the longer it's gonna stay in the air. And little things like that are simple things, especially in the discus that are gonna make a big difference. One of the things that most elite throwers are able to do is be able to change angles and place the discus anywhere they want in the sector. We had this conversation the other day at practice and we talked about the more skilled the thrower becomes they know how to place the discus and we were talking about control and having that discus come off that index finger is clearly one of those indicators so if you are feeling that try that little fix it should help you out and if this was helpful and you like this video be sure to forward this to somebody else you know be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for us because that helps us keep growing the channel putting videos out like this and be sure to check out the Throwing Chain Reaction System, our six pillar system for training the throw, learning it faster, and finding your individual fix. 
Okay, guys, thanks so much, and I will see you on the next video.